Hey Virgo, welcome back to House of Virgo. This is Kelly. This is going to be part two from yesterday's reading. Yesterday was part one, today's part two. If you missed yesterday's part one reading, there's a link in the description box below that you will be able to go back and listen to that. Um, just be mindful, some of the messages may or may not resonate for you. Do put a like and a share um, or subscribe to the channel if you enjoy my readings. And as always, this is a channel for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, but all signs are welcome. Okay, so Virgo, yesterday what we saw was you had the King of Cups show up in the reading. Um, they also had the Queen of Swords and yourself. So. It looked to me what the messages I received yesterday um, is that the Queen of Swords is trying to talk to the King of Cups who has his back towards her while looking at you. And you, your energy has been, you're not even focusing on that, okay? You are, it looks like you're not seeing anything going on with anyone except um, maybe looking at your own reflection and self-reflecting, self-care, healing, that kind of energy. So I wanted to get into part two to kind of see what the energy was here going on because I feel like the King of Cups, Virgo, is, and you know, as usual, generally the King of Cups will be a water sign, but it could be any sign um, for you, who your person is. They just are showing up, no matter what sign they are, as someone who is very supportive and kind. Okay. And I felt like the King of Cups um, has his back towards the Queen of Swords, is not interested in engaging, much more attracted to your energy at this time. Okay. So let's get into, okay, the rest of the reading here. All right, so we're starting with the Queen of Swords again. I felt like the Queen of Swords was trying to get information, talk to this King of Cups. There's a lot of stress um, that is happening now in part two, okay? The Queen of Swords is sitting with a tremendous amount of anxiety, stress, and nightmares, um, frustration, trying to get her um, anxiety relieved um, by the King of Cups, who like I said, has their back towards the Queen of Swords. And the King of Cups basically was telling the Queen of Swords, I'm sorry, I'm just not interested. Or I am focused on somebody new uh, who is Virgo. If th This could be somebody that um, you meet, you haven't met, you meet them, and maybe they have another person and they've changed their mind and they're more intrigued or attracted to you or it was someone that you already knew. Either way, Queen of Swords is like really like struggling here it's a complete nightmare there's a lot of grief on the queen of swords side because as i said you can see the king of cups is not even paying any mind or attention to that person uh let's see what else is going on with this queen of swords okay so she's going to give up that's what i feel like she's going to distance herself and just get back into a peaceful place and um try to re resolve her anxiety as well i feel like she's not going to pursue this king of cups going forward okay and i feel like she's going to withdraw or go silent or give the silent treatment to the king of cups or just block the king of cups okay and um move on now this oh the king of cups is wow virgo um very sincere towards you very like i said male or female energy it just depends on your situation um that six of cups some of you this is like a reunion they want a reunion with you i'm very nostalgic about you want to bring some type of a gift there's innocence sincerity and and kindness um with this king of cups here towards you and of course <laughs> virgo i love it because you're just like huh what huh what you talking about? What you talking about, Willis? Virgo's like not even paying attention. So let's see how things are going to play out between the King of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles. What is the energies? Okay. Um, Virgo, it's like, I feel like for you, your thing is, um, yeah, you're going to have to change. <laughs> You're gonna have to make like a huge lifestyle change. And what we saw in yesterday was the King of Cups had that Knight of Swords and was going back to the Queen of Swords and saying, I'm changing. So I feel like Virgo, um, your only communication to have going forward with this King of Cups is don't bring me flowers, don't bring me candy, don't bring me wine, uh, don't don't give me promises. Um, I wanna see action and change. That's what the Knight of Swords is. Basically, here's a knife, you're gonna have to cut your leg off below the knee and hand it to me and be willing to limp for the rest of my life for me. Now Virgo, is that a little demanding and vain? Some may say, but I feel like 
there's a purpose behind this because for some reason Virgo's just like not taking apologies without action really and 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 it Virgo it just feels more like you're action oriented as far as going forward in your life right um and if somebody comes in and apologizes to you it's kind of like oh, all right thanks but if they don't try to make amends they go hand in hand because apologies are just without action or without amends are just manipulative words so I don't know why people think an apology, oh, if you just say you're sorry, everything's fine. No, it's not. That's only half the game, half the battle. Apologies have to come with amends and making change. Otherwise, they're, they're, it's lip service, okay? So if you don't know that, now you know. And if you don't believe me or you don't agree with that, click off because that's how that works, right? There's consequences. If you steal from the store, Sure, you can say you're sorry, but you're going to have to pay restitution and give that money back, or you're going to have to do some community service. You're going to have to do something. That's just the law. It's an ethical thing as well, but that's just the law. And I feel like Virgo, the law of life, it's a moral thing as well. And I feel like Virgo, that's your, that's your thing. I don't see you being angry. I don't, like, it's just kind of like, you know, that's, um, you're drawing a line in the sand here. That's it. So somebody could come in with all the sweetness and, and all that you know gifts and you know want to reconnect and sincerity and and does that mean that person doesn't mean well i'm not seeing anything manipulative here but i feel like you know virgo you're more along the lines of like you know your actions are going to speak louder than your words and they all but they also have to align okay so let's see what the king of cups is going to do here because virgo i feel like um the king of cups is definitely going to try to come in and uh reconcile and try like to come in with kindness maybe an apology of some sort and i feel like you're you're basically i don't know this you know the, the knight of swords can be a fast talking card so you might just be real quick um to nip it in the bud and have some type of communication with this person and say i'm sorry you're gonna have to keep that gift or you'll take it and say thanks but you know hey you're definitely going to communicate this to this person when there is some type of um, reconciliation here. Okay, here's the lovers again. I hate that I have to. I hate to. I have to cover this card up. You know, if somebody, I'm gonna. I'm going to ask that somebody um, email me some cute little bikini stickers or maybe some fig leaves, <laughs> and I'll download it, cut them out, and put them on there. Um, okay, hold on. All right, so. <laughs> Virgo and the King of Cups uh, is definitely coming in to um, make things right, have a win-win solution with you in love. You know, you have two sixes and uh, here, sixes are about harmony, harmony, harmonization, harmony, appreciation, self-sacrifice, loyalty, and responsibility, taking responsibility, justice, you're given justice, and this justice is all about consequences as well you know this is like going before the courts um basically virgo's like you're gonna have to come in you're gonna have to be tried in the court of love this is my court and i am the judge <laughs> the judge and the jury and virgo i just kind of feel like your energy is like you're this is what you want um nothing less than that and i feel like this person will sit in front of the judge you know and um do whatever they can to this is the law of, this is karma as well justice is karma so it's definitely um like being honest and open um taking the stand and giving the truth the whole truth and nothing but the truth to you especially about how they feel about um, the lovers they had the lovers yesterday you being the one and making a sacrifice to whatever you want virgo just speak up for yourself and just say it you know there's no guarantee just be mindful when i say the message may or may not be for you it just basically means that there's no guarantee right now as you're listening to this that this is going to go your way there is a chance though um i think the most important message for you virgo is to stand your ground um and do not let yourself be um and key word here do or phrase do not let yourself be lulled to sleep or uh, cast under some type of uh, spell okay <clears throat> because nobody can take advantage of you unless you allow that so that requires you to 
have your wits about you, okay? But justice is good, especially with the lovers coming from the King of Cups. And I feel like the King of Cups, uh, you know what, you guys? Even if this is somebody new and you don't know this person, and that's going to be a small percentage of you, the story, the message still rings true here for you that if you're going to meet someone new, Virgo, part and what we saw yesterday was you have been leveling up and respecting yourself and setting boundaries for yourself. Um, you don't have to set boundaries for other people. You just have to set them for yourself and then they'll get the message, right? You don't have to worry about setting a particular boundary for person A and then a particular boundary for person B. And but No, you just set boundaries for yourself, what you will and will not do, right? And then it then that just covers the whole thing, okay? Then you don't have to worry about every single person. You just have to be clear with yourself, okay? So, yeah, okay. So you have the Six of Cups, Six, Six, and Six. This is crazy. So you have the Six, I'm sorry, the Six of Pentacles here. So Virgo, you're definitely someone who is a very generous person, very giving, um, and you're more than willing to help, um, offer advice, or show the way, okay? But I just feel you haven't lost that hospitality aspect of yourself, which is very attractive about you. You're willing to help people who are in need of help, but you're not willing to help people who are able to do things on their own. In that case, you might just point the way, right? But I, I see you here being very generous and fair, okay, going forward um, and to yourself, because I feel like, you know, your message here for yourself, I feel like you're telling yourself is, um, you know, I will love you, of course, um, but I love myself first unconditionally um, with um, a romantic partner. In a romantic partnership, your unconditional love should always be for yourself and, of course, your children. Um, but I don't believe for a romantic partner that you're, that either love should be unconditional for each other because it's not the same type of love that you have for a baby or a child. Do you know what I mean? You don't want to have that kind of love for a grown person because they're not a child. They're not a baby. Um, in a romantic partnership, we come together as a power couple. We work and we help each other be better, but we don't put ourselves in a position to harm ourselves in order to keep this person safe in the sense from themselves you know what i mean so you do have that generosity about you but i feel like you know where to draw the line okay with people you're more than welcome or you're more than willing to help this person get themselves to a better place but you're not going to do it for them and they're going to have to make these changes on their own um you're more than willing to assist um but they got to walk the walk right and i see you letting this person do that so let me see I, I feel like virgo okay between the two of you there's a lot of um things to work out and to figure out yes there will be uh, a lot of contemplation and consideration is going to um, come about in as far as how much each of you are able to invest in this relationship okay and that's going to have to be kind of figured out first before it's a go um something um if this is a past person something caused a breakup and that needs to be reconsidered and dealt with if this is somebody new this is, could be along the lines of having some obstacles that you're both going to have to figure out between the two of you okay so whether that be distance whether that be a financial thing uh maybe you work together and there's an issue with that um or it, there could be many obstacles that are going to have to be like you both kind of sit down and take a look at whatever the issues are and say, okay, this, this is, we're going to have to overcome this. How are we going to tackle this? How are we going to do this? Right. So, but I feel like overall, um, that's mostly coming from you. Okay. Um, mostly coming from you. You've got the six of pentacles to the seven, which tells me that, um, in order for something to be successful, okay, um, or this relationship from your side to be successful, um, there has to be a giving and receiving and a sacrifice, of course. Um, and 
I kind of feel like for you, Virgo, uh, I think you would probably be more inclined to say, well, if this person wants to try to make something happen here with me, um, I'll consider it. But I don't, I just don't see you jumping the gun with anybody, really. Um, I see you being very thoughtful with yourself and uh, considering and being very dis discerning. Okay, so tell me more about this King of Cups here and the energy towards Virgo because I feel like with the lovers, I mean, yeah, there's there's just this energy of this person. Um, you know, they want to heal any discord or arguments. They have a lot of regrets about something in their life, whether that was something with you or just in general. Um, if you don't know them, but I feel like this person is like really ready to come into union, like a secret union here. And, and if not fully ready, it is what they desire with you. Okay. Cause you did have engagement. Remember? Oh yeah. I mean, this person's on fire for you, Virgo. Their passion is off the charts for you. <laughs> I mean, even the physical passion, I mean, they're just completely on fire for you. And whatever it takes to turn this um, this relationship into a win-win outcome is their focus here, uh, especially with justice, you know, um, if, to find solutions to make something work. I mean, oh, Virgo, uh, this is like being passionate and on fire for the truth for... Um, making things right as well uh, let me see what else is going on with this person <laughs> there you go uh, you two are going to end up in a happily ever after yeah yeah virgo uh, i feel like hold on a minute and i definitely feel like that's something you want um to just get into this joyous happy outcome here this card flipped out real quick yeah, um, and then it, uh, so it's fleeting again, another fleeting card, but I am going to recognize it. I feel like for you, it's like, okay, I, I see all your ideas and your plans, but, you know, and they're tangible and attainable, but I need to see the actual work and the action. Yeah, I, I feel like Virgo, your energy is, um, your intentions, your thought process in life is to other people in general. It's like your intentions are great, but until they're actually, um, action oriented or actualized, um, then they're just intentions. And so they're just ideologies or dreams or thoughts, you know, there, there has to be more than just good intentions, right? Because we could all have good intentions. We could all not want to steal candy from a baby, but when we're Joneser for candy and we take it, our intentions don't mean, it doesn't mean anything. Do you know what I mean? So I feel like for you, it, it's more along the lines of like intentions. I don't care how good they are. Um, I got to see some real, something tangible, something real, that kind of thing, Virgo. I, I don't know. I just kind of feel like you're, you're just raising the bar here. And um, that bar that you're raising with someone else is creating this stronger attraction to you because you're basically giving the message, I am high value and I am high worth. And um, I see that in myself and, and, and I want people to also see that as well and not intentionally putting it out there but just owning it and I feel like being in that position for yourself Virgo is drawing someone towards you here definitely um in such a way that this person just kind of feels like oh this is Virgo's the one Virgo is the person for me like everything I've been looking for, everything I wanted. Now, if this is a past person and you were with them before and they didn't see that, Virgo, let me just give the message straight up to you, okay? And I'm not trying to victim blame or do anything like that here, Virgo, but if you weren't living in your best self, living your best, at, let me ask you a question. What's different now with you than before? Has your behavior changed? Have you become more positive? Have you begun to honor yourself? Have you begun to respect yourself? Okay. Um, because sometimes people don't respect us because we're not respecting ourselves. Sometimes people could be attracted to us physically, but not want to get into a relationship with us because we're not, um, 
they, they don't feel comfortable or safe with us, right? Now, if someone is doing that and they're saying, now nah, I'm changing my mind, it's no different than you being with someone and saying, you know what? You're not respecting our relationship or me um, because you're not respecting yourself. And even though I'm attracted to you, I don't see us being in a long-term thing um, because your behavior is not working. It just doesn't fit in alignment. So let's not sit and place blame everywhere. I think it's really important um, There's for you to know that whatever changes you have been making, and they've been positive, Virgo, and if you're still on that path, good for you, keep going. Okay, it's, it's not to do it with the intent to snag somebody. It's to doing it with the intent to live your best life regardless of what other people say or do when you keep the focus on yourself and your self-respecting you're attracting and I feel like that's what's going on so if you were with someone in the past and they made poor decisions um, then don't own them those decisions belong to that person um, if this person is beginning to see your wealth or your your abundance and your um, ability to turn to them and look at them and say no I don't need you I did before I do need I do need you in romantic ways of course but I don't need you to the sense where I can't survive I want you because for whatever various reasons, but I don't need to have you. And if you leave, I'll be sad, but I'll be okay. And and that's the energy I see you projecting here. Okay. And that's very attractive to someone because it says, well, you want, you don't need me to keep you in a house and riches and furs and gold and, and, and all that stuff. Um, you're willing to put in the effort with yourself, then you would be willing to put in the effort with us, right? That's the energy I see you projecting. And I see that person looking at you saying, wow, Virgo is different, or Virgo has changed now, or Virgo doesn't want me the way they used to, or doesn't need me like that anymore. And that also causes this person to change, okay? Because the old age, we can't change other people, but when we change, other people change as well. And so if we change for the better, somebody that we're close with is going to change for the better or they're going to change and walk out the door because they can't do it. It's one or the other. There's no need to chase. Just chase yourself. Okay. So I like what's happening here. Um, perhaps this person, this King of Cups, saw something in a Queen of Swords in the past um, that they thought was better than the, what they saw in you. And, and maybe at the time it was possibly. Okay, um, but it could have been superficial. Look, it's all swords with this person. So I think if anything, um, there was a lot of communication that might have gone back and forth between the King of Cups and the Queen of Swords. But I don't see anything romantic coming. Uh, I feel like the King of Cups is all about romance. Okay, they have, it's all the love. Okay, and the passion and truth. And that's what the King of Cups is all about. Queen of Swords is all about anxiety is a fucking nightmare um and then disappears and you know kills the relationship it's just and kind of bitchiness male or female energy and virgo of course is all about show me the money <laughs> and you know being very grounded look at all the pentacles okay and the sword there to be like also about truth you know i feel like that's the difference between the king of cups and the queen of uh, pentacles here is queen of pentacles is all about being grounded in reality and the king of cups is all about the love and the emotions right um there's a little bit of a balancing out going on here for sure um <clears throat> all right let's let's see the outcome here okay so the king of cups has some mental insecurities or issues to deal with here okay definitely um, that could have been a past person that they were with it might have been very abusive it's had an effect on them not on their heart but on their head okay and, and virgo you're in tune and you've got the high priestess um, I think you already know or you will pick up going forward that, that there's some type of isolation or mental restriction with this King of Cups. Um, the King of Cups kind of sits here with a little bit of this victimhood stuff. They might have been a victim of something um, in their past and they might still be kind of... These are This is the issue um, that the King of Cups needs to work through with within themselves, okay? Um, 
if they were mentally abused or or they so the eight of swords is always a card of someone who's like a self-sabotager they imprison themselves they isolate um and that can be energy of a water sign um they could be very moody they go within they withdraw a lot um and that doesn't make them bad it's just how they cope with things okay um so there's a lot of like this king of cups tends to isolate themselves from others okay it doesn't mean they don't love those people but they might have um they might be a bit of an introvert as well virgo with you you've got the high priestess right so your advice here is to really get into a, a alignment with your intuition okay um and i feel like keep your cards close to your chest going forward okay um, that high priestess, you know, it, it's all about like trusting yourself. The secrets are the things that you understand intuitively that you don't share with others. Keep them as sacred for yourself and begin to start trusting yourself going forward. I like this reading. It's very detailed, um, but I do feel like, um, let me see, wait a minute. <laughs> Yeah, um, there you go for the outcome. I feel like you guys are going to come into balance with each other. Um, <laughs> I feel like the relationship going forward will be um, very reciprocal with the Two of Pentacles, where um, there's going to be a lot of... Um, one minute you're going to need the King of Cups... And then the next minute, the King of Cups is going to be needing you. There's going to be an equality. And two is always about balance, duality, um, choices, partnership, diversity. There is some diversity between you and this person, for sure. I don't know specifically what that would mean. But there is, um, you guys, there's... Um, maybe some neurodiversity going on in this relationship they just told me that there could be um someone could be on the autism spectrum could be you it could be that person it could be both of you um there there's or one of you and so there's going to be a need to understand and balance things out in this relationship i do feel though that you two will, will figure it out. You'll be able to keep the balls juggling up in the air and you'll be able to take turns and understand each other and figure things out between the two of you, which is very promising. Um, but as far as like that engagement and everything that we saw yesterday, that is definitely the start of um, securing the relationship even more. And I feel like if... Um, you know, I don't, I don't really know if you're, uh, I did feel like that Queen of Swords was going to reach out to you as well, possibly, in yesterday's reading, and I implore you to go back and listen to that. I want to tell you that when I told you about the Queen of Swords when I started this relationship, or when we started this <laughs> reading, that this Queen of Swords was going to give up on this relationship, and if, sh if the Queen of Swords reaches out to you to try to get clarity, I felt like you really weren't going to give anything or say anything you're keeping your cards held close to your chest you're keeping things private and in secret um your relationship with other people is nobody else's business okay um so yeah i i feel like as far as any kind of communication or confrontation um i feel like um this queen of swords is going to back off okay um, if you don't give them anything, if you don't get in the ring, a boxer, if, if there's a boxer in the ring and you don't get in to that ring as an opponent, that boxer is going to be not, doing nothing but shadow boxing and eventually they're going to quit because there's no contender there. So I feel like for you, um, not getting involved, not saying anything, just keeping it to yourself and not giving this person any, uh, feeding it any energy um they're gonna just dip away they're gonna just dip away what's most important to you going forward is forgiving and learning healing releasing and healing the past so you can have more love in your present moments i do not necessarily know um i feel like if you want to all right so i'm going to say this for both of you you and this past person if you want to heal it you're both ready to heal it you can i'm going to tell you that Okay, but you both have to want want it. Um, as far as somebody new coming in, I feel like Virgo for you, the overall message is set your boundaries for yourself. Do things differently than you used to do. Whatever got you in a situation up to this point where something didn't work out, 
I feel like you need to do the opposite of what you were doing before. And I can't tell you exactly what that is because I really don't know what you were doing before. That's up to you to look at and say to yourself, okay, well, I did A, B, and C. And how did that, what were the results of that? And how did that work? Um, if it didn't work, you need to try something else for yourself that is going to work. If you've done everything on in the alphabet, A through Z, and it still didn't work, then that's time to let it go and let someone else start sorting that stuff out, okay? All right, so let me see what else you have here. Trust and true love, beautiful. The situation is calling for you to have faith, and this is the romance of a lifetime, Virgo. Wow, I keep getting all these ding messages. And then you've got give your relationship a chance here. Work on the partnership. Okay, Virgo, and you know, that's advice. And of course, as always, you can take advice or you don't have to take advice. You do whatever fits you the best. Hold on, you guys. Okay, um, so let's get into a couple other things here. I'm probably not gonna go for an hour long. Um, Let's see what your messages of love are here. And so I'm uploading this Tuesday evening for Wednesday. On Thursday, I am just going to keep the format of doing general messages. So your everyday stuff, health, career, um, you know, your everyday things um, apart from romance. But if romance shows up, then yeah, we will definitely be taking a look at that as well. Okay, but the, fo the focus will be um, the dailies, you know, the everyday stuff, not love. Okay, so let's see. Messages of love for Virgo. So you have release, radical acceptance, and surrender can help you let go. And that's what I was talking about, doing the opposite of what you always did. Some of you just, you hold on with, for, like, 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 get your claws into something and you hold on, and you hold on, and you hold on, and you hold on. Sometimes the, the most radical thing you can do is release and let go. Oh my gosh, all these notifications. Sometimes the most radical thing you can do is release. Accept something and just let it the hell go. And that might be opposite of what someone here is used to doing. Okay? I know not all of you. I know all of you are just kind of like, well, you got your Virgo thing going on and you got your crown. You, if your crown was crooked, you straighten it out and you let go and you do it with ease. While others of you are like, no, it's going to take me a while. Okay? strictly sexual this connection is passionate but not enduring okay yeah so you might have had a relationship with someone in the past could be this person or uh, somebody else where that was the relationship that was the gist of it passion <clears throat> is not sustainable long term it does need breaks okay um if you were in a relationship like that in the past ask yourself how did you get into that right because no unless you were actually forced into that that's a different reading but most likely you um you agreed to it and it might not have been what was the best decision at the time for you but maybe at the time you thought it was um but perhaps it didn't pan out into something so now virgo you're kind of some of you might be looking at yourselves and saying, you know what, I'm not doing those kinds of relationships because that doesn't fulfill my long-term end goal here is to have someone in, you know, a companion for my life. Um, a strictly sexual relationship is kind of more like a casual thing. And if that's something that you were okay with, then, you know, fine. That's, you're okay with that. Some of you weren't and some of you, um, Maybe you it ran its course for you and you, some of you might just be deciding, you know, that's what that was and doesn't mean somebody didn't care for me, but it's not going to work for me anymore. Don't worry so much about the feelings. Worry about more so what's going to work for you in the long run. So you've got stability. So this relationship can stand the test of time, Virgo. This new person or this person showing back up in your life. Um, yeah, there's a there's a huge potential for that. If, Like I said, if this was a strictly sexual relationship in the past, Sometimes, you know, it's totally fine. It's never too late to raise your standards and your desires. Sometimes people change their mind about things. And if that's the case, that's what the relationship was in the past. And then you, some person was like, you know, I think I actually want more out of this. And another person might be like, no, uh, it's not what I want. Well, okay, that's okay. Separate and move forward. Okay, but perhaps for some of you, um, this King of Cups is coming to realize with that justice card that they do want something. 
a relationship of stability and something that can um, go the distance. And I do kind of feel like that's what that is, whether that's a past person or new. Um, and you just had marriage down here, right? So that's definitely the energy that was playing up in yesterday's reading. The relationship is more moving towards the sacred union. And the King of Cups is going to move it in that direction. And uh, all you have to do is, you know, keep your, set your boundaries for yourself. That's all you have to do here. Okay, yeah, look. King of Cups feels regret. They feel remorse, regret for the way they treated you. Okay, part of that is kind of, you know, lighting a fire under their ass to come toward you and try to heal something i don't know they might might have regret because of what they were dealing with in the past if they went back to that person um baby mama baby daddy or if they you know decided they wanted to date someone else while you were um in separation um and that didn't pan out and kind of made you look like gold um or if you never met this person and they were dating someone and that person was just giving nothing nothing but grief and anxiety and um, that kind of energy um, or giving them the silent treatment or being kind of nasty mouth, um, I feel like the King of Cups regrets that they wasted so much time. And I don't necessarily feel that they feel that way until they meet you. It's like, where have you been all my life? I wish I met you when we were younger. I've wasted so much time on the wrong people. And here's Virgo, who's like loving themselves. Here's Virgo, who's caring for themselves, who's who's independent, again, with that Nine of Pentacles, you know, self-sufficient, solo, enjoying their lives, and, and really happy and joyous and free. That is attractive. Okay, Virgo. So... I definitely feel like you've got something good coming towards you in April. And I think my friend Lucy told me that April 21st is the start of the Mercury retrograde. So the pre-shadow period, perhaps like a week before that. So the week after e the, the week of Easter, some stuff is starting. We'll be starting to brew, to brew here, Virgo. Okay, so I just feel like as far as your reading goes, I'm going to leave this here because I'm going to just skip the dice and the, the names and randoms and, and the charms because you had that yesterday. I should have probably saved that for today, but it's okay. I'm going to leave it. Um, I feel like if you um, are in that position where, you know, there's a third party or somebody else, I feel like that situation has ended or is ending. And if that's a concern for you, yeah, that third party... Uh, they have somebody else or they will have somebody else very soon or they already do that they're making plans with. they just could not the thing is and i just want to leave this one caveat um much like a taurus <laughs> the king of cups doesn't really budge if they're being forced to do something or if someone is trying to force something out of them um the king of cups is either not going to budge or they're going to find a way to get that person who's trying to make them do something um, soften and ease up off of them. That's how the King of Cups works, right? The, because they're very knowledgeable about themselves because water signs are often turned inwards. They're, they're often self-effacing. And a lot of times people can think that they're extremely selfish, um, which they are, which is not necessarily a bad thing. Um, because to be selfish means putting self first. Okay. Um, so in a lot of ways, I feel like you, the King of Cups is basically like you can't get blood from a stone. Okay. That's the energy of the King of Cups. And the King of Cups, which I can't pick my card up. Oh, the King of Cups sits on that stone there, okay, with all that water, uh, tumultuous water, which, you know, the cup of blood, you know, the King of Cups just doesn't budge unless the King of Cups feels something. They have to feel it in order to move it and to move something forward. And the King of Cups is not feeling anything um, with this past person. I just... I just have to tell you that that's 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 the message I'm getting. OK, so I'm going to leave that there for you. And I'm just looking to see. The full moon is on April 6th. 
Okay, so obviously Thursday I'm going to do your um, Thursday I'm going to do your weekend reading, but I'll, I'm going to put in a full moon reading in there, I guess. Uh, one of the days, so expect it one day this week before the week ends, and then we also have the Easter reading, and um, yeah, so I'm going to leave that there for you guys. I hope that you enjoyed this part two extended, and uh, I will see you all back here tomorrow. All right, take care.